What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So most of you that watch my channel, anybody that's new here may not know, but I'm not the biggest uh, fan of what Shibirium may do, right? I want to see Shibirium have a large impact for Shiba Inu, I really do. Um, but honestly, my thought is that it's not going to have the biggest impact for Shiba Inu, but have more of a larger impact for Bone, right? Because we all know that Bone is going to be used as that that currency to to trade cryptocurrency back and forth and you're going to be paying within a fee of this this position right um and as we see the the use for bone we don't see any type of use for shiba inu yes we may have different um you know um apps or different people different businesses that are building uh with shibirium uh, for Shiba Inu's benefit. Yes, we may have that, but I'm also applying it to what has transpired before in, you know, previous situations where businesses were out there displaying that they supported Shiba Inu, displaying that they burned Shiba Inu, but they never received the support from the ecosystem devs or even just a conversation to say, hey, what are you doing? Are you doing something good? Uh, can we you know, back you or whatever? And they never decided to back them, right? Coffee company, games, um, YouTube channels, um, community led or driven businesses, just a lot of different things that they didn't have um, a say or control over, so they didn't decide to back it. So what's the difference here with uh, Shibirium as you see things that are built? So it's not really, uh, screaming that it's going to be all inclusive and everybody has acceptance and all of this stuff. Like it doesn't really scream that to me. And I'm trying to be, I want to be positive, but I also want to give you guys the real information, um, and real thoughts because yes, it is my opinion and my opinion may go a long way or it may not go anywhere at all for you. But the point is, is that it's always healthy to listen to all opinions so that you understand what could and what can't happen right so anyways shibirium is supposed to be coming very very soon you know they're doing all types of testing and you know seeing that august is that month we're we're looking at a very very close launch for uh shibirium and it has people excited about what bone could do and also it has a lot of people excited of how or what the impact will be for shiba inu and like I said, I'm excited to see what the impact will be, but I don't want people to be let down, right? I hate having people let down um, and not getting the thing that they that they want or that the community deserves because we've seen it so many times, right? Everything that has been launched uh, promised to have some form of an impact on Shiba Inu, but they were just feeding off of the Shiba Inu ecosystem to build whatever or uh, fund whatever they're looking to do, right? Um, the 1.3 million holders within Shiba Inu is the reason why everything else has a success. If Shiba Inu was never here, that ecosystem is never built. Bone is never released. Leash is never released, right? You ha don't have Shiboshis. You don't have a game. You don't have a metaverse. You don't have Shibirium. Just all of these things that are created is because of Shiba Inu community. And you need to realize that. I know there may be some people that are only Bone fans and not Shiba Inu fans, the very small group of people that are only Bone fans and not Shiba Inu fans. Um, and I understand where you're coming from. Could have a massive impact. Um, but again, without Shiba Inu, there's none of what, what has been created and sort of maintained. So I wanna talk about um, you know Shibirium a little bit and just talk about the impact that we could expect uh, from uh, Shibirium and, and all of that. So guys hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And also if you guys want to check out some of the, uh, uh, other links that I have referral links that are down there, feel free to check those out. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. If you guys want to, that link should be down there as well. But I saw a, um, an article, multiple articles talking about bone, but this article here talking about is the hackathon and how you have a big bone prize, um, you know, promised and you have like what, $5,000, $5,000 prize in bone awaits, um, at Shibirium hackathon. Um, it shows, you know, what they're trying to, you know, push right bone, 
bone this, bone that, and that's fantastic for bone holders. But for all of the people that are Shiba Inu holders, is that something that also sees the same impact? Probably not, right? Um, they're, they're pushing this overall position, which may be a good position. Um, I have invested in it one time, um, but it was, it was for a very brief uh, moment or uh, period in time. Uh, I know some people that have made money from from Bone, and I'm happy that they were able to collect their initial investment or buy in at a low point because it is at a decent um, or was at a decent price for a while, like below a dollar, and now it's like above a dollar forty six. So you know, gaining forty six percent is fantastic. Um, but we need to see the impact in both, right? In Bone, in Shiba Inu, and in Leash, right? And in Treat, and every um, you know position that they do have. So the hope is that that's the case. And um, I'm still, I'm still, I still have some hope that Shiba Inu will have a massive impact to it. But I just hope that it's not a massive impact and it's short lived, rather than you know, seeing, you know, a massive impact, holding a steady price, seeing all the different volume happen and consistently happen over time. Um, because if I compare it to things that have happened, every everything that has launched has some sort of impact and then falls off, you know. Um, whether we're talking about Shiboshis, right, or we're talking about, you know, Bone in the beginning, we're talking about the um the burn portal and how much was burned there. And then it all fell off and you're not seeing any type of burns. Even if you saw like 50% of the burns that you saw in the first week, you still would see a decent amount of burns uh, consistently, but we're not seeing that. We see nothing basically. Um, you know, rewards, people got rewards from that burn portal, but didn't consistently get rewards, even though they were consistently burning um, at that time. Uh, so it's just it's just confusing for me and I don't want to sit here and talk down on the position I just want to speak, you know um, On the other side, you're probably seeing a lot of positive videos that bone is going to be this It's going to be that Shiba Inu is going to be this It's going to be that but I want people to stay in more of a realistic mindset before they completely, you know cloud their mind of uh, or of all like negative things that could happen, right? They're clouding it with with all the positive stuff and um, we're going to be at, at Candyland and we're going to be, you know, making so much money here in everything that we're doing. Um, I just want to make sure that people are, are realistic there. Now, do I think we will have any type of impact um, when it comes to, um, you know, Shibirium? For Bone, for Leash, for Sh uh, Shiba Inu, yes. Uh, but again, like I said, I think that you know, if we're not going to see a massive impact, which anything could be changed, I, just, uh, you know, remember that or understand that, that anything could be changed. They control what the fees will be. If the fees are super low and they feel like that it's way too far off from what the exchanges are, they can offer higher fees. Um, but I would wish they would do that from the beginning, offer higher fees for more burning, for more, um, more bone holding, um, and more creation and more transactions and everything's flowing through to have higher fees right if you pay 25 cents versus one cent what really is the difference i mean yes 24 cents but it's still not going to make a, a huge difference compared to um exchanges right you may be paying a dollar or five dollars over on an exchange you're looking at you're dividing it by four or dividing it by 10 or, you know, dividing it by 20 or something, maybe even a hundred. It's still going to give you less or charge you less in order to make those transactions. Now, I still want to see everything happen and break down the full thing. So, um, you know, don't think that everything that I said is negative here. Again, I just want to make sure that people are set up for um, more of a reality so that they're not um, going to look at it and go, this is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Um, but anyways, that's my opinion. Um, I will keep having that opinion until we see some other news that's released that will give us uh, a different opinion. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and hopefully you can sort of agree with me. Um, but even if you don't, I'm okay with that. I want to hear your opinion. If you feel like Shibirium is going to be amazing and Bone is going to run and Shiba Inu is going to run, you know, speak your truth down in the comment section. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and block your comment. I'm not going to say that you're wrong for thinking that. Um, everybody is entitled to their opinion. And um, your opinion is just as valuable, if not more valuable than mine. 
uh, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.